again today. Um, yesterday I set a few laps, uh, I set an initial 109.6 uh, with the controller. Uh, in, in that uh, 30 minute session I did, and now it's good to just get uh, uh, some consistency through some of the corners there. Um, what it did highlight was that there were some clear uh, things that um, Florin and uh, Jimbo were doing better in uh, particularly club and uh, Beckett's. So those are big places in the lap that I was losing time uh, and I was less consistent than they were. So um, I was less consistent through those corners. So today I'm, I'm back at it and I want to focus on those two corners uh, and see if I can improve my consistency consistency through those corners uh, and break into the 108s using a controller. Um, so what I'm going to do to start off is actually take a look at their replays just to see what they're doing in those corners. Um, I'm going to be looking for things like uh, uh, braking inputs, throttle inputs, um, the gear they're in. And really I'm going to be probably judging their speed by their gear more than their miles per hour. I see Florin's improved his time by another 500. So he's still at it too. Yeah, this is a... Uh, hopefully you guys find this useful. Uh, especially when uh, in identifying the problem areas yesterday and then using this session here today to possibly break that down into a, a more detailed view um, and corrective actions for those corners. So the first thing you'll note is that uh, I'm just taking a look at Florence flying lap here. The first thing you'll notice is that he's on the power fairly early. Really good at leveraging as much of the track as possible right up to the white line. Uh, and he's not really braking for this car. Oh wait, uh, the brake lights are very dim on this car. His brakes getting on the throttle very early, well before the apex. He's getting on the throttle a lot earlier than I am. It's looking to take note. We're pretty much level through Stowe, uh, unless he's improved his line through here. And again, we're very similar here uh, in our braking, braking application and our gear selection here. And he's a lot better through... He's a lot better through club uh, and Originally, I thought it was down to um, gear selection. I was trying um, playing with things like running first through this initial left-hander here. So he's staying in second, just lifting off. So you know, one good thing to note here: he's right at the apex here, lifting off the throttle a little bit so to tuck the front end in and uh, keep it on the track through the rest of the club. And you'll note that with the balance in this car, um, it's, it's fairly, it's a fairly uh, hard setup. Um, so there's not a whole lot of weight transfer going on here, but you let off to the front, uh, and the front tires grip uh, and tucks the front in a little bit. If you get on the power too, early, too aggressively, uh, it's a front wheel drive car, so it's going to wash wide. And it's very true in the last corner at Club. Um, you just got to lift off a little bit on that second apex the nose gets tucked in. Uh, and I've tried with things, uh, different uh, different gearing through there as well. I uh, uh, Through the second Apex and Club, I tried shifting into third since, you know, I was going to be lifting off anyway, and I, was, I thought, you know, let's use that time to shift into third and see if we can gain, uh, use that time off throttle to do something. Unfortunately, it bogs down a little bit in third, and, and you actually end up with less speed at on the uh, 
front straight here. Okay. You'll know, just another thing to call out here, I called this out yesterday, but leveraging really all of the tracks. You can probably get even further off the track here. Uh, and really getting aggressive. He's, that's a very good inside apex. Very, uh, very aggressive to the curves again through this one. Just barely keeping it on the track here. Now here's another corner where he's better than me on the brakes, uh, and this is into Village. I haven't quite figured out the braking. I'm not losing too much time on this corner, but he's still got a better run at me through the brakes. This and avoiding that inside curb, sausage curb, uh, that was pushing me wide yesterday, so he's avoiding that, getting on power. Well, getting a good line through here and getting on the power well and early onto the hangar straight. Okay. So I think I've seen enough of this. I'm going to go on to Jimbo's replay as well. <coughs> now, Jimbo's using a wheel, uh, so it'll be interesting to see how the two lap times differ. Uh, but I'm really out of excuses here as uh, Jimbo's on a wheel. Lauren's on a controller and they're both a hell of a lot quicker than me, so I've got some work to do. a closer look at that next time around. He's carrying a lot of speed through there. You're really using the brakes to uh, pin that front end down. He's staying the second through here as well. And a little lift through the apex. Everything else is fairly straightforward. Let's take a look at the lap again from the beginning. Not too much curve on the inside. Just keeping it straight. Look at that corner. I gotta say, looking at his lap, I think he's gaining s most of his advantage through this in the hangar straight. Sorry, I'm gonna take a look at that one more time. Opening slow motion. Hard on the brakes. He's got a little drift going on through the apex and hard on the acceleration. really using all the front end grip available on this car. Turning in and braking at the same time. Braking the loose. It's a pretty impressive corner. So, uh, another difference here is Oh, that's strange. Jimbo ran into the rev limiter in fifth over here. Hmm, 
I wonder if he's played around with the gearing on this car. I'll have to ask him. Oh, but it's very good at trail braking and keeping the uh, turning on, turning in on the brakes, breaking that back end loose a little bit. Really getting a great turn in into those corners. All right. So let's go do a lap of our own and see if we can stay a bit closer in those corners. Um, now, I did a, uh, I think I did a 109.6 in my stream yesterday, but I did a few more laps after the stream and I was able to get down to a 109.0 uh, on the controller. So it's just about level, um, maybe five hundredths off of the lap I did with the wheel. Uh, but I'll say this, it, uh, I did many f more laps on a controller to get that time than I did versus the wheel. I did maybe a handful of laps, a dozen laps or so on the wheel. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I did 30 more, 30 plus laps in the last few days. It took me a lot longer to get close to that time on a controller this time around. Now that's not always true. Sometimes the controller is faster, it just depends on the car and the track. A lot of the times with rear wheel drive cars, um, people struggle more on a wheel just because that's uh, hard to manage the breakaway, the rear breakaway, traction breakaway. So one thing I am doing differently today is I'm, going, I'm running just manual to see if there's any difference in time. So I'm running without the clutch today. And you see the gear changes are super quick anyway, so there is no there is no real difference between the manual clutch and the it's definitely not a disadvantage to See, I'm nowhere near the rev limiter there uh, in the stove, so that's interesting. Definitely not over 7,000 revs. It was my first lap, so could have been a little slower down the hangar straight than I usually would. Caught the astroturf there, so that run off right here. Doing some bowling with the cones. Hopefully there'll be fewer of them to deal with next time around. Okay, down the hangar straight and again, not quite at not quite at seven thousand revs. Let's Getting a little squirrely over the curves here. So, I'll, I will note, I'm pretty sure Jimbo was in fifth through Abby. Can't remember what Florin ran through Abby. I was running fourth, pretty close to the rev limit, but uh, I tried fifth yesterday and fifth um, through Abby was didn't give me the front end I wanted. 
So they just tended to wash wide. And I'd have to lift for longer than I'd like to or use the brakes, drag the brakes to bring the front end back in. Neither of those things I wanted to do, so I just stayed in fourth through that. One thing to note with this car is that there is a little bit of turbo lag, so... <sighs> Sorry, I got uh, distracted while talking. Uh, there's a little bit of turbo lag, so it does help to get uh, lightly on the throttle before um, before you're, you really put your foot down, and that just allows the turbo to spool up, and so you have power when you, when you put your foot down. Otherwise, you, know, you get through the apex, you put the power down, you have to wait a split second before the turbo spools up. And so try to get on the power, even gently, a little earlier with this car. That'll help your power delivery out of the exit of the car. Alright, I lost some of that consistency I found yesterday, so I'll take a few laps just to get myself into the groove. struggling with Abby this time around, so let's see if we can get it right this time. Okay, that's better. I lost a little bit of time through Village, uh, and that carried, carried through through Packet. So I'm a little slower down the straight, but not too far back. Not too deep here, need some time. So that's what I meant about uh, using the time off throttle to shift into third. But you'll see that you end up worse off. Look closer this time around. I have to take note, he's getting on the throttle earlier than me, uh, and with the thing about turbo lag I mentioned earlier, he's getting a, a much better jump onto the straight, so I remind myself to get on the throttle a little earlier there, he's, he's improved his line through stow as well, so he's getting off a little quicker. This will be low 109s, I think. Good line through there.
Still getting on the throttle earlier than I am. Old habits die hard. I changed my uh, line a little bit through there. Note to self, brake earlier there. Got a really good um, turn into the left hander of the chicane. I tried to bring it too far left to set up for the next corner. What that ended up happening was I couldn't bring it back in for the apex. But we're getting closer. Getting uh, pretty level with him through village now. Haha, <laughs> I just cut that coin. But that's alright. That'll let me stay closer to him through the straight. And see uh, how I'm still in club. Literally this time. He's not running away from me on that corner anymore. little too deep there. And it's not going to show yet, but it's going to show once he gets the better exit out of here. And he's just taking off. Mm -hmm. yep, we got a good run here. A little wide here, but I can keep on the power and not run off the track. Alright, so I've pretty much matched him, but I've hit the rev limiter. <laughs> I was able to get on the power earlier through Beckett's this time, so got roughly the same exit as he did. Close. Hopefully this will be in the 108. Way too deep into the chicane. Might still be a 108. It's not going to be a great 108. Oh, no. so I've got him pegged. Pretty much. Through the first half of the lap now, and I've actually got a better run out of him. Onto the hangar straight, that's the first. See if he can make it stick. It's going to be interesting with his ghost right there. Gotten on the power earlier than he. Ah, if I can keep it on the track? No, not quite. I got ambitious there. Uh, normally in a race situation, it's really a good idea to lift, but since we're going for a hot lap, who cares? Okay, so I'm just going to spend a few minutes here going through these set of corners. Uh, and it's the first time I've been this close to his ghost at the uh, end of the lap. So I'm going to take the time. I don't know when I'm going to be this close again. Uh, so I'm going to take the time this time around to actually get breaking point. See if I can 
stick with him a little better through these uh, series of corners. He's still doing better here. I'm losing a lot of time here. I'm losing probably at least two, three tenths uh, through just these series of corners to him. So, uh, that's the good thing about Forza is you have uh, access to rivals and their replays. Uh, and this is a great way to improve your lap time. Okay, so I'm a lot closer that time, but I cut a little, uh, cut a few corners too aggressively. Um, this is a pretty fine line that we're trying to thread there. But uh, we are getting closer. So this time around it's much closer. I am still slower, um, but I've probably only lost uh, one to two tenths this time around. Um, and if I think back to his replay, um, it's really the power delivery out of the the right hander out of the chicane that where I'm losing. I have to lift more than him, so um, I think I'm I need to adjust where I lift off. And get ease on the uh, throttle, uh, ease back on the throttle a little easier, so that I'm not overpowering the front wheels. I'm kind of just lifting off and then completely getting back on the throttle right now, and that's overwhelming. The front wheels. Better, uh, better on the throttle out of the corner. I uh, had a worse entry into the first. Um, so another thing that I'm noting is that you don't want to turn in too early to the left hander here. You want to hug the curb as close as you can until the end of the curb on the right hand side. So what I mean by that is you don't want to turn in before that. Right, you want to a late turn in, a late apex to so set up for the exit. Um, and I've noted that I've been turning in earlier um, in my previous line. So that's something I'm, I've changed up. So now I'm hugging the inside, the outside curb for longer until I'm turning, really just turning in right after the curb. So, a little late on turn in here, missed the inside curb, um, honestly fairly close to it, but you want to be more aggressive on that in inside curb uh, to set you up for a better exit. Alright, so now we've got a good one. Lift, back on the throttle. That's much better. Um, so there's still some work to do on, on throttle application and exit, but if I can be consistent there like that every lap, then it, uh, that's not losing a whole lot of time to him anymore. So it's greatly improved on one of the weaknesses I had in the lap. Um, let's go through that again and see if we can stay consistent, see how consistent we are through that section. Freak. Don't turn in, don't turn in, turn in. On the throttle, lift back on. So that's not too bad. It's a lot better than I was doing before. Thank you, Florin. And let's see if we can stay with him this lap. Good one. Could run through there. Very little. 
this too much time though, so we'll keep at it. Yeah, I was a little too ambitious on that inside apex. Um, it'll be good to see if I can stay with him the rest of the lap though. Level through there. In, might have gained a little bit of time. That's much better. I was able to stay with him through club. And that's a 108.9, even though I was dirty. It shows you how much time that I was losing through that section of the was to him and all. <laughs> Clear some cones while we're at it. Hopefully, uh, they don't do that during a race. much there, but that's okay. I want to make sure I can consistently pull off these lap times as well, so. I might have gotten a little ambitious here, Abby, but uh, that's okay. I can work on that later. Make sure that I have the consistency throughout the rest of the lap to stay with it. I to break a little earlier here. Not so much time. Even that is a mid-109, so that is a lot better than I was doing yesterday. Clean lap this time around. Just level through here. So he carried more speed, he got back on the throttle as, uh, at roughly the same time, but he carried more speed into the corner. Pretty close. I'll lift a little bit here. Oh. Freak, freak, don't turn in, turn it in. Alright, so this looks to be my first 108, hopefully. I can just improved over my control, my wheel time. But we're getting more consistent with control. Oh, we've got a better run on him. Maybe. Oh, that's pretty even. 
better than my previous lap. Let's see where this looks. Neck and neck. Ah, oh, too much. Game over. And I've got to back that out as well. Otherwise, my next lap is going to be dirty. if we can fix that. Break. Don't turn in, don't turn in. Squirrely through Abby, so I uh, lift it off completely. And that's put me way off the flap. I'm just using this map to clear a few more cones. Let's get a good run out of the club and then. Uh, I think I might have already put myself at a disadvantage for this upcoming path. Greatest thing. The thing I really like about this car is that it has a great front diff. It really manages to put its power down at the front really well. We expect kind of a normal front wheel drive car to just wash wide. This thing somehow managed to put its power down and still keep it turning. Actually, be an improvement over our previous lap time on up. So that wasn't so bad. I think I stayed level with him through there. Maybe lost a little bit of time. 
if I can do that consistently, then I have a chance to... Sorry, I'm just going to start that lap over again. If I can do those corners consistently at the end of the lap, then I've got a good shot at beating his time. It's certainly going to take a few laps. It's a pretty quick time that he's set. Let's see if we can get a little closer there. A little closer than 1089 before we sign off today. If I can get these corners right. He's real good at carrying speed through that corner. So we're gonna try and break a little bit less. Let the car turn in off throttle. Might have reeled it in a little bit there. Yeah, not much. Wait up brakes. A good, good exit out of here. Next lap should be for me. Hmm. Losing my consistency here. That's the uh, one thing that rewind really takes a toll on is consistency. So gotta run a few laps through here. Just running it as I, as I would on a race pace. Oh no, just clipped the inside. Was so close. I thought I had him. Yeah, you can see how level we are through still. Break, wait, wait, turn in. Okay, so I'm gonna take this opportunity again, just because we were so close at the entry of the corner. And it's a really good opportunity to compare what we're doing differently again through these, these set of corners. I didn't have the greatest turn in into the first uh, left-hander. chance to practice consistency through here. Get into a groove with these corners so that I don't really have to think about it next time around. Scrubbed off too much speed there. So. Uh, that means this brake a little later. Turn in roughly about the same spot. That's close. Still going out a little better, but that's close.
Too much. So taking too much into that corner means you have to wait before you get on the gas. Miss the apex, had to wait on the throttle. So well back to slap. Back on the hangar. Yeah. Let's see if we can stick with him though. A good run out of club. We'll make a break for lap. It's a good one. And it's going to be an improvement. No, eight. Eight. That's uh, still a long way off, but uh, that was fun. Okay, hopefully this helped. Um, I drilled into a couple of corners specifically um, that I knew I was weak at looking at uh, the uh, racing against this ghost earlier. I uh, really spent some time on those this time around. Um, out of the session today though, um, I was running 109s, high 109s yesterday. I was able to run that fairly consistently, but today um, dipping into the 108s occasionally uh, and actually even on my bad laps, uh, were better than the 109.6s I was running uh, yesterday. So, uh, yeah, so I, I was smoothing out those parts of the uh, lap really helped my, uh, drop my lap time down. Um, and so hopefully this learning process helps you. Uh, let me know if you have any feedback, and uh, thanks for watching.